Well, it's been a couple of weeks since I've posted. Um, I've been pretty busy here on the farm. Lots going on. The summer's the most busiest time, so it's, you know, it's expected that I'm not going to make many videos um, over the next month or so. Uh, as well as that, we're going on holidays soon, going to uh, Amsterdam for a few days and um, just uh, traveling around, maybe some camping even. But I did want to show you a couple of new things that I've been working on. Um, and it's a bunch of uh, little boxes, which I'm pretty happy about. And um, these are the little boxes that I've created um, using the foil art technique that I um, that I've uh, come up with. Um, so I'm really happy with the results. I made three. I made these three today, all um, slightly different coloured. Um, and they've got something inside of it. Now they're called the secret box and there's a secret something inside but the only thing is if you really want to see what's in, hidden inside is you actually have to destroy the box to get at it. Um, they're pretty cool little um, treasures that's inside so you know it'll be tempting for some people um, but yeah I'm really really happy with uh, the effect and the results. That was the first one that I made and then um, this was the second one and I decided to add like a little keyhole um, put some flowers in there as well and then the third one I decided to change the colour and have more of an orangey ready sort of colour which is great and these are just some of the other boxes that I made these ones are you know they can be opened so I'm quite happy with the results of those and that one so I've had fun making these boxes they're just something different um, I've got a art market art fair coming up again in September so I thought I'd better start making some small stuff to sell at these markets because usually you don't sell big works, they're pretty hard to sell um, but small little things like this sell pretty easily I've been also working on um, my DVD series so I've got a bunch of techniques now on DVD the eggshell, the foil art technique, the bubble and this one's got two techniques, foil art and bubble effect and I've got another one I've just finished making which I, I didn't bring down and actually shows you how to make these uh, secret boxes um, my online course is about to start again in uh, beginning of July and that's a seven week course and um, basically there'll be s a selection of techniques over that seven weeks and the first one's the foil art technique and I'll be teaching you how to make these sort of things as well as you know you can apply this technique to lots of other things like your assemblages or altered books or you know little artworks um, so I'm really really happy about this new course um, but apart from that I haven't done much I've sort of the studios empty at the moment there's not much going on no painting uh, it's nice to have a break and you know it's summer and there's a lot of people away on holidays and you know relaxing and outside and um, yeah and that's a good thing about art it's nice to just let your batteries recharge and take time to just chill out and um, relax a bit and you know that's what I'm going to be doing for the next month but I just want to let you know I haven't run away or haven't gone away or I'm not going to post again it's just holiday time really and as you can see it's beautiful blue sunny skies and it's like 25 26 degrees here which is perfect so what else I thought I'd show you is the vegetable garden um, it's starting to really uh, come together now and it's growing pretty quickly so I've got carrots all along here and these are all uh, broccoli because uh, we love broccoli a um, couple of cauliflower 
onions down the side and beetroot so got quite a fair, fair bit of beetroot because we actually preserve it and create our own sliced beetroot and in here we have corn one two three four five corn plants um, so and in these little greenhouses we've got we have um, what have we got zucchinis and cucumbers and we've got watermelon plants in there um, and in the other one in the other one we have some, some three tomato plants and along the back we have uh, snow peas uh, sugar peas I think they are yeah growing along there so that's for this veggie garden I'll take you up to the other one we wanted to show you these uh, wild lupin plants and the flowers that they have on them they're just amazing they're right like purples and pinks and whites and even some of them are red oh, they're so cool and they grow so easily here um, and lots of seeds so they're pretty nice so do, do, do. taking you up to the other garden quickly plum tree there and in here we have garlic there's all garlic and carrots as well a whole bunch of strawberry plants with I don't know if you can see all the strawberries on there they're not ripe yet of course but loaded and in here we have um, oregano, some parsley, um, thyme, more parsley, and there's also tomatoes over there. So that's the veggie garden. Oh, I just wanted to show you quickly, I've been making a couple of outdoor pot type things and found a good use for some of my fired clay masks. As you can see, in the, they actually embedded them into the soil and stuff and they're starting to age really nicely so it's cool the other garden outside everything's in flower which is amazing um, hey poppy yep say hello yep the star of the show's here uh, so that's the garden here growing like wildflowers wildfire I should say sorry and um, flowers everywhere yep and look at that beautiful not a cloud in the sky loving this weather and that's how it is okay guys later